What's going on, people? Hope y'all are doing uh, fantastic. Um, if you're in the trucking business, part of being in business, actually, all of being in business is um, being a problem solver. So if you're able to solve problems, now I'm talking about trucking, um, if you're able to solve problems, um, it may or may not be profitable for you. Um, I was in a situ not a situation, but I was calling on loads the other day. It was on Tuesday. Yeah, it was on Tuesday. Tuesday, or no, it was on Wednesday, uh, the day before with the National Day of Mourning, Thanksgiving, right? Um, so I'm calling on loads, and they're dirt cheap. So I called on this one. Um, and the broker said it, it was about an hour and a half away from me. Not a big deal. It was on my way home. Um, so he said, yes, yeah, a pallet of uh, 32,000 pounds of uh, recalled food. Whatever, I don't know what the, the product was, but it's recalled food and needed taken from the warehouse to the landfill, to a landfill, just disposed of, right? So... I was asking him questions. He's like, I don't know. He said, oh, I'm just trying to get it out of the warehouse. And, you know, whoever picks it up, you know, they will have to set all that stuff up. Oh, no problem. I used to haul trash. Um, so I know how the landfills work. I know how the waste system logistics part side of, of you know, the trucking part. I know how that works. Um, so I said, okay, um, let me do some numbers and I'll call you back. So I called my company up. I said, hey, the company I'm leased to, I said, uh, this is what we're looking at. Uh, is that something you'd be interested in? They said, well, as long as you can put it together, you know. And I said, yeah, no problem. Cool. So I'm, I'm setting myself up first, you know, make sure everything is doable before I go ahead and, you know, uh, uh, use my time, you know, to make them money. Uh, even though I'm leased to them, I know. But, um so I called a landfill within the area. It was a half hour away. Um, it's half hour away, and it was eighty-five dollars a ton to dump. Dump there, thirty-two thousand pounds. So, thirty-two thousand times eighty-five is, or excuse me, it was sixteen. It became out to sixteen tons. So eighty-five dollars a ton. Um, so it was rated right around fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, I don't know if they charge tax or not, but it's been around $1,400. So the broker would have covered that uh, in a lumper fee, you know. So that would have been taken care of. So I got the quotes and everything. I got it all lined up. Now, the problem that I would have run into or issue that I would have run into is they didn't have a way of unloading the trailer once I got there. So I don't know how many pallets it was, and I don't know if it was like a full trailer load or, you know, just a couple pallets uh, or, you know, 14, 15 pallets of, you know, that weight. I don't know. God didn't know either. So uh, I called the lady at the landfill, and I'm talking to her. I said, do you, you know, do you have, is there a dock or something? She's like, no, we got a pallet jack that you can use. Or I said, do you have a tipper? Now, what's a tipper? A tipper in the landfill is you back the truck on the trailer onto this platform. Sometimes the truck is attached to it. Sometimes it's not. And for just the sake of the uh, the video, it's uh, a machine where you it dumps the whole trailer. So it, it raises up like that with the whole trailer on there. You just disconnect it. Then the stuff falls out the back. Machine pushes it off. So all of it fun comes that back out. Then the machine comes down like this. You back back up to it, hook up to it, and then you're off. But she said a 53-foot trailer won't fit on it. So, like, oh, okay. Because most trash trailers are like 40 foot, maybe 48. Um, so, so I was still left with the situation. What do I want to do? Um, so then she mentioned uh, that I could hire labor-ready um uh, what you call it? labor ready laborers basically it's a, a service where you just hire people it's a service where you uh, hire that service and they have workers that will you know you hire them by the hour and they will um, um, 
general laborers pretty much hire general laborers through this through this service uh, she said that's available too I said, okay so I got all the numbers figured in my head you know how long it would take you know a um, couple hours two, probably two three hours unloading it by hand so get all my figures ready I call the broker back uh, all this took about 15 minutes you know because I, I was already in the waste I was already hauling waste at the time, you know, a couple of years ago. So I already know how this stuff works. So I called a broker back and he says, um, I said, all right, I got, a, I got a number for you. I got a quote for you. Uh, this is what we can do it for. I said, uh, it's going to cost you $1,400, right around $1,400 to dump the load. Then I said, it's going to be for the truck rental for the day because you're in the day rate, you know, you're not going anywhere. It's going to be $1,000. That included uh, my time um, and also paying the laborers, uh, you know, to help me unload this thing. Uh, so, you know what the guy said? Oh, well, we were looking to get it done for uh, 600 Oh, well, it's not going to work for me. Uh, no, it's not going to work. He didn't. He didn't come up with nothing. Well, I was like, really? Here I am doing all this work for you, right? You know, putting all this stuff together, trying to help you out, and then you just going to nah. We we can't do it. We, we're looking to get it done for six hundred, which is not a bad rate. But you know, by the time the company takes their cut, by the time I pay everybody else, I ain't making nothing. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I forget that. So, I mean, I'm not giving myself credit for something I didn't do, but I'm just showing you, you know, you can be a problem solver, but um, you want to deal with people that want to deal with you. Um, and see what the broker did, what I think he did, he quoted them, uh, the company that he was dealing with, um, $600, uh, $1,000 for the rate, and he was going to keep 400 of it and then pay me the 600 which no, that's not what we agreed on. If you wanted, you know, four hundred, keep four hundred dollars. You should have quoted them for it, fourteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen hundred. And then, well, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't spend their money. But, um, so what's the more of the story? The more of the story is work with people that want to work with you, and then, uh, offer them a fair rate. I mean, which thousand. <sighs> This is another video, but a truck should be making at least a thousand, grossing at least a thousand dollars a day. At least a thousand dollars a day. I don't care if you take a load. Uh, well, this is another video. Maybe I'll make another one. But local like that, you should be grossing at least a thousand dollars a day because you're not running a lot of miles, but you're you're um, you're going hourly. So that's another video, but. Um, uh, maybe watch this video over and over again, you know, maybe you'll get something out of it. So, uh, become a problem solver in trucking. Oh, here's what I want else I wanted to say. A lot of people that are coming into trucking want to be owner operators. Maybe they have different backgrounds, which can help them. Like I know there was uh, somebody left a comment on one of my other videos. This is back a couple months ago. The guy was a sales, uh, he had a background in sales. That would work for trucking because you're constantly selling. You're, you're selling your services or whoever you lease to, you're selling their services. So even though it's not directly driving the truck, I mean, you can you can still, you know, put that stuff together. Um, and uh, people with different backgrounds. I mean, find a way to incorporate what your skill set or what you already know how to do, incorporate it into trucking, make some extra dollars. That's all I'm saying. So, uh um, Hopefully you found value in this video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and get that spreadsheet. Uh, the link I'll put the link down below. Get the spreadsheet, the cost of operating your truck, and we will see you on the next one.